the invitation to do something for house has gone on. It was you know, it's been in process for some time, and we looked at several buildings over the period. But the the best one for me, for my money, is the Regency Townhouse. The quality of the space, the light. I think I think the materials I use are absolutely central to the work I make, and a lot of my ideas come from observing materials in or objects in in the street, um, you know, wherever that might be. And it, it, so I don't, it's not as though I have an idea and then I look out for materials I can, through which I can realise that idea. It's more the other way around, that certain materials suggest ideas and ways of working. And then you know, I take those, ideas, those materials to the studio and um, you know, adapt them and work on them. Uh, so there's yeah, definitely the materials that, that spark off the ideas. I usually, it, I mean there's two ways of doing it. One is that I physically get hold of the materials and bring them to the studio and then mess around with them, um, which is the ideal way of doing it. The alternative is to take photographs mm -hmm. and then take the photographs to the studio and then work on them. And that's what I really did with the, this work, Brighton Palermo Remix, because it was based on seeing these street decorations in, in Sicily. Um, and of course I couldn't carry them home with me, but I took a lot of photographs. I'm always on the lookout for different types of spaces to show in. And you know, I, I show obviously in galleries, which are fairly you know, conventional types of spaces. In order for the whole project to happen, the first thing you need is the venue. Mm -hmm. You start with the space, and then everything kind of flows from that, more or less. So yeah, the, the, the house itself, it's an extraordinary building. Um, that's the absolute starting point for me.